all I ever wanted was to own you. Not as a property, but as a partner, a wife, an equal. And heaven knows that I have been doing that for the last decade. Believe you me, that is the most memorable years of my life. But you can agree with me that we're always arguing and fighting over the tiniest little thing. There has never been a week that we don't fight. I don't want my daughter growing up in such a negative environment. Yes, it's, it's actually going to change her understanding about marriage. And I know you don't want the same for her either. I have gotten an apartment. And I'm moving out first thing tomorrow. You should have at least tried talking to him. There was nothing to talk about. His mind was already made up. Made up? What about you? What about yours? Is yours made up as well? Wait, did he even occur to you that? Maybe he was just trying to know that beyond all these arguments, you still wanted him? And that he said all those things just to Get your response. Okay, I get it. I know, yes, both of you have been having it rough lately. But come on, Scarlett. Marriage is not always rosy forever. These things are there. The ability for you to go through them is what makes you a couple. Don't you think Nathan should be the one you should be counseling and not me? The last I checked, he left and I'm still here. You're my sister, Scarlett. You're my twin sister. That is what. Let's do all of this. Wait, let's together. We'll start the whole day together. 
I keep telling you that I am a magician and you don't believe it. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. This is really beautiful. Oh, you think this is beautiful? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Well, what do you say to this? Oh, babe. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let me get this on that beautiful neck of yours. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Right. There you go. Ooh, look at it. It's so beautiful. You like it? I love it. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. So, let me change up and then we go out and celebrate this properly. That can wait. Why don't we have the real celebration here? Ooh. Mm. Really? <laughs> mm. Hold on. You can pick that up. Oh, yeah? Mm. Did he need his call? Oh, please call him again. I want to talk to him. Mm. Let's call it. Hello? Your daughter wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy. Hey, baby girl. How are you? I'm fine. I was missing you, so I asked you to help me call. Oh, I miss you more, baby. Wait, you did not go to school today? Today is midterm break. You don't even know anything about my school. <laughs> I, I am sorry, I forgot. When are you coming to take me out today? Um, that can't be today, baby. I'll pick you up weekend, okay? For me. Pinky swear. Pinky swears. I love you, baby. I love you too. Alright. Thank you, mommy. Alright. I'm so sorry, my love. So, uh, where will we? Oh, I'm not going to move. What do you mean? I'll just go get water. Just... Wait. You're not big, big. Claire. Claire, come on, man. Claire. How was school today? School was great. Mom, can I have ice cream? Nope. But I want ice cream. And I said no ice cream. Why? Because I said so. Let's go. Mm. going on here? How many times have I warned you not to litter this parlor? I'm sorry, Mom. You know what? You have to clear this place. And go upstairs to your room and do your homework. Don't do it here. Clear this place. You need to clear this place. Clear this place and go to your room. Hurry up. Work and play. It looks like it's going to be a busy day for Toby the vet. His waiting room is full of people and their poorly pets. His own cat, Tabita, wants to play. Tabita, he shouldn't be here, says Toby. Toby sees his first patient, Sirius Rabbit, has the snuffles. Mm. She needs to take his medicine and stay away from other pets, says 
to be. Bring her back when she's better, as her clothes needs cotton too. The test result that came back isn't looking pretty good, Scarlett. How bad is it? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. But doctor, I have stuck to the routine. I need to keep you here for some days so I can monitor the situation. And how many days? I can't really say. But minimum of two, maximum of five days will do. Okay, doctor, can I can I come in next tomorrow? If that's okay by you. Next tomorrow is fine. What? Okay, doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What's up? You saw that word over the phone. Yeah, I'll need you to look after Mandy. What? Just for a few days. My doctor wants me around for a few days. Hospitalized? Something like that. What are you not telling me, Scarlett? Nothing. Fine. You said my condition isn't good. Why is that? I thought the therapy was going well. I thought so too. Well, the thing here is, I'll be traveling first thing in the morning. Yes, you remember the event I told you I was going to go manage in Lagos? It's this weekend. My team already left by road this morning, so I'm expected to meet up with them first flight tomorrow. What about her father? Have you told him? I, I mean, about your condition. Scarlet. Don't you think it's high time, Yenya? If he was around, just maybe I would have told him. Scarlet. What? Nothing. Well, she is his daughter. He should look after her. Look, I need to, I need to go put things in order because I have somewhere to go. Sorry, I just have to go put things in order. For some days, can you come stay with Mandy?
She's still in school. I'm going to pick her up. No, um, I'll do that. Just help me drop my bag. Okay. Thank you. Please, bring her straight home. No ice cream. Yeah, sure. Nathan, no ice cream. I heard that. Great. Anytime that you'll be traveling, so. And so he'll be staying with me. Yes. Yes, my dear. Mommy has a very important meeting to attend in Cardinal. But I promise you, I will be back before you know it. Okay. <laughs> Take your time, Mom. What? Uh, Mandy, we have to go change up. Don't forget. What do you want to eat? I always forget. Oh, I'm the ultimate bride, <laughs> and I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm the God. king, <laughs> and you are just a little rat. <laughs> You are a rat. Oh, a rat. That is you. That one. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Sure she does her more homework. Play less. She's a lady, okay? And what? Girls don't play? I didn't say that. Well, she's my daughter too. I'll make sure she's fine until you get back. Good. And please, one more thing. Make sure you use the list in the kitchen, okay? Please, I beg you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Kenny. No, no, don't worry. I'll see you off. No, don't worry. I said, I said don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Perfect mom. Good 
this sir. No, uh, I'm in Abuja. Today? All right, sir. Um, I'll be in Lagos in a few hours. Thank you. Hello? Hey, baby. I need you now like never before. Hello? Thank you so much for coming. Sit. You are actually the lifesaver. What is it? Remember the job I applied for in Lagos? The governor's event? Yes. His aide on special duty just called. Oh. The governor wants to see me. Is he in Abuja? No. Lagos. Okay, so the thing is, I have three hours to get to Lagos. I have checked and there's a flight leaving in the next two hours. Wait, so you're leaving for Lagos right now? Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. So what's going to happen to your babysitting duties? Uh, wait, don't tell me it's what I'm thinking. It is clear. Come on! Please. I need you to help me take care of her. All right, I promise. I will be on the evening flight once I am done. Okay? Nathan, so you're asking me to take care of another woman's child? My child? With your ex-wife! What makes you think that's what she would want? She doesn't have to know. And you think Mandy wouldn't tell her? Forget about Mandy. Mandy's my daughter. I can take care of her, but I need you here. You own me. <sighs> Yes, thank you. And I think I have forgiven you for leaving me all alone in the house. I have to do this in the okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm doing this because I love you. I know. Hi, Mandy. Who are you? My name is Claire. I am your dad's friend, and he asked me to come pick you up from school. Sorry, I don't talk to strangers. Of course, you're your mother's daughter. Not surprised. Nathan, please, can you talk to your daughter? Right. Hello, Dad. Where are you? Daddy had an emergency and had to run off, but I'll be back this evening. Auntie Claire is a friend, and she will look after you until I return. I can take care of myself. Of course you can. I know, baby. She's just there to help. I'll be back soon. What about my ice cream? Auntie Claire will get it for you, okay? Give her the phone. Okay.
going with your homework? It's great. Need some help? Everything is good. Of course. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Let me show you how it's done. Let me show you. How you doing? Ooh, what? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I told you. It's Your turn. Job. I'll do it better. Oh, I see. Ooh, I Ooh. told you. <laughs> Let me show you. I know. Being a firefighter is very exciting. Fireman Joe and Fireman Officer Hannah have to be ready to rush off as soon as the alarm sounds. Fireman Joe is an expert at driving quickly but safely. The other drivers must get out the way as soon as they hear the fire engine coming. Okay. Buddy lives on a farm. He loves it there. But he is feeling sad. Oh, a good farm dog should be able to... Should be able to do a lot of helpful jobs. But Buddy can't seem to get the things right. Yesterday, Buddy was helping at the hen house. He heard the baskets while Charlie collected the eggs. He arrives at the shop after it has been closed. What will he have for his tea?
can't find my D. Where are you? Oh, I'm at the mall. We came to the mall together. I'm on my way already. Okay. Where's Mandy? Um, we came to the mall together and I couldn't find her anymore. What do you mean you can't find her? Oh my god, what? We've been looking for her. Man! Hey, Daddy! Hey, where did you go? Huh? Are you okay? Where did you go? I'm fine. I wanted to use the restroom, so. And it was a good fight, so I went down the street to use the public. You went down the streets, Mandy? Don't ever do that again, okay? Are you sure you're okay? You got us worried. We're worried about you. Oh my goodness. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you sure? She's fine. She's fine. She's okay. How could you? How could you have left my daughter with a total stranger? Well, that's not a stranger. She's my- I don't care who she is. I don't care. Please, stay away from my daughter. I don't want to ever see you close to my daughter. You didn't have to talk to her like that. She was only trying to help. And I didn't remember asking for her help. I did. So hell with you both. I'm going back to my house. Is it because of what happened? That I mean. I wonder who your ex thinks she is, that she can talk to everyone the way she pleases. Hey, 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 hey. I am so sorry for the way she spoke to you. But babe, that is not enough reason for you to leave. No, that is enough reason. Nathan, she calls you every single day. She even calls you for the most irrelevant of things. I am really tired. Honestly, I just want to go. Please. Does she even know we're together? I haven't told her it's official. I thought as much. Look, look, look. I will do it right away. Okay? Baby. I got this at the airport. And I was hoping to use this to say sorry for everything that has happened between us this past week. Claire, I love you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. with her Scarlet. When I left here, I never expected my heart to open up to another woman. But it did to Claire. I am going to marry her. What makes you think it will work with her? If it didn't work with me? I don't know. But I still want to try.
Are you going to put the ring on my finger or should you just leave? Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Nathan told me what happened. Scarlett, what is happening with you? You really have changed. You used to be this calm and calculative. And what am I now? Harsh, temperamental, irrational, even to your own daughter. Come on, Scarlett. Claire was only just trying to help. You didn't have to embarrass her like that in public. Oh, so you're defending her now, huh? I am just trying to find out what is happening with my sister. Scarlett, what is it that is eating you so rapidly? You're not the one that is hovering around. What is the meaning of that? Scarlett! Scarlett! Well, I forgot to tell him that I wanted my birthday cake to be pink. My dear, I'm sure Daddy knows that already, okay? Well, I still want to tell him. Fine. Is Mandy. I'm sorry, I have been so busy. But happy birthday in advance, Nathan. Oh. I'll be the one making the cake. And definitely it has to be pink. Okay. Mommy, Auntie Kelly said that she's baking the cake for me and it's pink. Use your phone. Thank you. Yep. Why? 
This is my birthday. Because it's your birthday, so you're playing with them? I'm not even supposed to be decorating. Well, just go with that for me. Are we the best friends anymore? Huh? I thought we were best friends. Hey. Well, this year, mommy said it's just for family, okay? But don't worry. Next year will be big and we are going to invite everybody. Can we invite Auntie Claire? Uh, yeah. We can invite Auntie Claire next year. <laughs> Auntie, can you stop? No. Auntie Claire is there. Auntie Claire! Wow! My cake is me! Oh! oh, oh. Just look at yourself. You can never do anything right. Cheese! Yes, I'm always dreaming things for you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. It's fine. It's, it's okay. Um, we can just get out another cake, alright? Just Baby, so we got you another cake. I'm sorry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? Go on, Mandy. How old are you now? How old are you now? There you go. I am nine years, I am nine years, I am nine years today. May God bless you now. 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 Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, 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 hip! Hooray! Happy birthday to you, baby. Thank you. God bless you, new age. It's time to cut the cake. Okay. You have to make a wish. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make a wish first. Mm -hmm. When you're done, you let us know and then you cut the cake. Done. I hope you didn't wish for me. No. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, so we cut, come on, let's, let's cut the cake together. L O V E. Yay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Thank you, Anna Claire. You like the cake? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. <laughs> Okay, okay, um, it's time to, you know. Mm. Dad, please stay with me. Aw, baby. I wish I could stay with you, but Daddy has a lot of work to do at home, okay? Okay, that means Auntie Claire will stay with me, right? 
Uh, Mendy, I would have loved to, but I need to go with Daddy. I need to help him with his work. You stay yeah. with him. Yeah. Tell me so I can come so that we can play, right? Mandy, yeah. let's go. You have school tomorrow. Okay, Mom. Bye, Auntie Bye, Dad. Bye, baby girl. Take care. Bye. Bye. I've gone through the reports gathered or through your stay with us. I'm sorry, Scarlett. I don't think you have much time to leave. What? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've gone through the reports gathered or through your stay with us. I'm sorry, Scarlett. I don't think you have much time to leave. What? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This thing, chemotherapy can neither cure nor control the spread of this cancer. It can only help to shrink tumors that cause pain and pressure. This tumor often continues to grow back it could have been controlled if we started proper treatment earlier. How long do I have? Six months, or even lesser. One can't predict these things. Just go home and live every day like it's your last day. Just go home and live every day like it's your last day. to die. No.
never want to die. You're not going to die. Please hold me. Hold me, please. Hold me, brother. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. How long does she have left? He didn't say. He definitely not much. I'm really very sorry, man. answering your phone. I've been looking for you. Babe? I'm going to see my family. What are you talking about? Babe? What are you saying? I am going to see Scarlett and Mandy. What? I am going back to Scarlett and Mandy. We're just planning our wedding. What are you even saying? She's dying, Who's Claire. Dying? My wife! My wife! She's dying! You just called her your wife. Scarlett has been battling with cervical cancer all this while and I've been too careless not to notice it. I am going to be with her. Um, I, I am going to make the little time she has very memorable. What about me? What about us? What about this? Are you just going to leave everything behind? Come on, nothing, please. She has always wanted a family. That was something she never had whilst growing up. I am going to make that dream a reality. I am sorry, Claire. You're sorry? You want to go? Go ahead and... You've always been a confused person. Go ahead and... Get out. Tell you what. Mark told me everything, Scarlett. Why didn't you tell me all this while? Because I didn't want your pity. You already made up your mind to leave. 
I don't want to trap you in a marriage you already wanted out. Trap me? Scarlett, I would rather be trapped with you than to be elsewhere knowing you're going through this. That's what I don't want. I want you to live your life to the fullest. You always told me. Growing up, you lived for your parents. And then I came in. Now you're leaving for Nandi and I. I want you to live your life to the fullest. I am sorry. I am sorry for not noticing all of this. The mood swings, the harshness and all. I am sorry. I'm scared. I don't want to die, Nathan. I don't want to leave my daughter. I'm scared. You're not going anywhere. Okay? Nobody. Can take care of Mandy better than you. Then I am back. I'm back for good. Okay. Okay. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I have never been so scared like I am right now. My life. It's such a misery I have never known no pain Like the one I feel right now My life is such a misery Ever since the day I found you I just wanna be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love Ever since the day I found you I just wanna be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love So just let me know If you wanna go
did you come here? I came last night. And guess what? I am not leaving again. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. <laughs> come here. Ah, <sighs> okay. Go have your bath, and then I will make your breakfast. Okay, Daddy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. No singing. Hmm? No singing. Okay. <laughs> He did? Mm-hmm. And he said he's not leaving us again. Mandy, finish your food so you're not late for school. Okay. And what about uh, lunchbox? Oh, it's already in the car. You can help yourself whenever you're ready to eat. Thank you. You're welcome. Mandy, what about your napkin? Mm, it's in my bag. Mathematics. Um, baby, you know, daddy is not good with maths, right? Don't worry, mom will help me do it. Uh, no, no, mommy is not feeling well. Then who will help me do it? Honey, you will have to figure this out yourself. You know what? Uh, Dude, I wish Auntie Claire was here. The last time she helped me out, I got excellent. Let me just have a look at it, okay?
いろしてあのカフェのでもすごい I was taking care of a few things. Let's go back to sleep, okay? To make sure that a child is safe. I'm sorry that my condition made Nathan to leave you and come back to us. You don't have to. It was his decision. Nathan loves you, Claire. I don't think you came all the way to discuss me and Nathan. I want you to move in with us. What? Mandy, my daughter, she's fond of you. She loves and trusts you. Well, the last time I checked, you said I wasn't so good with kids. Look, nothing has changed. And that's why I want you to move in with us. So that I can guide you towards being one. Please, I'm begging you, please don't say no, for the sake of Mandy, Nathan, please. How did you get here? 17? Page 17? Yo. We just started reading here already on page 17? And I'm on page 8. Are you sure you're reading this thing? I still have like 100. Nobody, we just started reading. How are you getting so fast? Did you read all of this? Yep. And I'm on page 8? Wow, okay. That's actually fast. Speaking of mine, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Yes. So, Claire will be staying with us and Spock. Yay! <laughs> we can play together. Yes. Are you happy? Mm-hmm. Can you, can you help me do my homework? Of course. You're my baby girl. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. You we happy can play. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Come on, me. Oh, yes. Oh, Miss Lee, you're so cool. Okay, so. So you have to start from the beginning. Okay. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, my little book of stories for girls. Hmm. Let me see this. Well, I thought that since I have limited time to leave, I'd make adequate preparations for when I'm gone. I don't understand. My concern is that when I'm no more, Mandy and you are happy. Mandy is comfortable with Claire. I thought you said you don't want her around Mandy. That was the irrational one. And you, you love her. Yes, you do. I can see the emptiness in your eyes since you got back. I know you more than you know yourself. I know you came back because you felt pity for me and not because you loved me. My threat is inevitable. And that's why I want Mandy to be around someone she's comfortable with and someone you are in love with. What about Claire? What does she stand to gain in all of this? You. That's all she ever wanted. And that's why she accepted to do this in the first place. So, everyone gets what they want. So, I want you to please make sure you listen to everything I have to say, okay? Um, in here, I have the ingredients and then this are the do's and don'ts in the kitchen. And I have my pots here. The pots are inside here, yeah? okay? Um, and I have some also there. And then please, the do's and don'ts in the kitchen. Please, I want you to observe this carefully. This are the do's and don'ts, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I just be outside. But,
Mandy, you're not sleepy? I couldn't sleep. Should mommy call Mandy a bad time story? Don't worry, mom. Auntie Claire, can you read me a bedtime story? Sure, baby, I would love to. Okay. Let's go. should always go everywhere with a napkin, okay? Okay, okay mom. All right, so, see you later. Thank you. All right, bye. I love yeah. you. I love you too, baby. Bye, mom. Bye. Mandy, I made it specially for your dad, okay? Okay. Raise a child. I don't know what I was thinking. I was foolish to think I could teach you. Scarlet, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Look at her. She knows nothing. She can't do a damn thing. I told her, follow the do's and don'ts in the kitchen. But no, she wouldn't listen. Mandy is allergic to, to garlic. The meat was for him. Mandy came into the kitchen and asked if she could have some. And I refused. I didn't even know when she sneaked a piece from the tray. I made it for him because he loves it. He couldn't tell you simply because you don't. But you know what? I am tired of all of this. I was foolish to think anything good could come out of me being here. Here we go. Claire. Claire. Just leave me alone! Scott. Scott. 
Father, this right here is what chased me away. Your nags and irrational response to everything that concerns this child drives me crazy. Do you realize it's my child too? And I love her. The lady you just chased away loves her too. If not, she wouldn't be here. He went out there to beg her. And now she's here? You insult her? Scarlet, stop. You are insensitive and selfish. We just have a child, one child, and you keep behaving like this. People have kids. Three, four. What is it? What do you want from me? I have never been so scared like I am right now. My life is such a misery. I have never known no pain like the one I feel right now. My life is such a misery. Ever since the day I found you, I just want to be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love Ever since the day I found you I just want to be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love So just let me know If you want to go I understand It's not your fault Just let me know If you wanna go I understand It's not your fault I have never been so scared Like I am right now My life it's such a misery I have never known no pain Like the one I feel right now My life is such a misery Ever since the day I found you I just wanna be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love Ever since the day I found you I just wanna be beside you But this thing will never let me grow old with you My love So just let me know If you wanna go I understand It's not your fault Just let me know Wanna go? How is she? How? Can she die just like that? And we are all here, but can't do anything to save her. I've asked myself these questions countless people. They are all rhetorical. Nathan, I think um, the best thing is that she has gotten what she has always desired. A life with a family. You? And Mandy. I never wished for this. Barry Scarlet is what I can't do. I, ca I can't. Do not see it like that. See it as you giving her a fulfilled life. I mean, you are going to come stay here. 
her last days with her and Mandy, that's about the best thing you could have ever done to me. Believe me, you really might not have been able to save her life, but coming here, you saved her soul. Let's just, let's just enjoy the remaining days she has with her. Make it the best, the best out of it. Being a firefighter is very exciting. Fireman Joe and Fire Officer Hannah have to be ready to rush off as soon as the alarm sounds. Quick, jump in the trunk and switch on the siren. Fireman Joe is an expert at driving quickly but safely. The other drivers no. must... Are you going to die? To know that I will die as the happiest woman ever because I have you and your daddy. You and daddy had the best thing life has offered me. I don't, I don't want you to worry, okay? I want you to know that I will die happily because I get to spend the last days of my life with you and daddy. Okay? I don't want you to die. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'll try not to die. I'll try not to die. Okay? I'll try not to die. Take care of them more than me, okay? I can't. I won't be able to do it. Yes, you can. No one can replace you, Scarlet, the perfect mother. I don't even know what to do. That's why I chose you. You are my perfect sweet listener, okay? 
Please, don't cry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't cry. <laughs> You have mine. I have never been so scared like I am right now My life is such a misery I have never known no pain like the one I feel right now My life is such a misery Ever since the day I found you I just wanna be beside Mandy. you we're going to be late. Do you have anything? Yeah. Are you sure? Ever since All your homework? You. Yes. I just wanna be beside you. But this thing will never let me grow old. Andy, my love. A decent so lady always takes a nap. Thank you, mommy. If you wanna it's okay, baby. You ready? Let's go. Alright, honey. Love you. <laughs> Have a lovely day. If you wanna go, I understand. It's not your fault. My shadow. I'm trying just to be like you, Scarlett. Blue skies are turning grey. My sheep be selling to an unknown world. Shadows are fading, blue skies are turning grey. My sheep is selling to an unknown world. How could I know that this life will be such a misery? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. How could I know that this life? Will be such a misery. So let me know if you wanna go. I understand it's not your fault. So let me know if you wanna go. I understand. Your fault. Just let me know if you wanna go. I understand. It's not.